Hey people, Anthony 4 before Diesel. I'm not going to say anything about the playlists, all right? Because people are just dreading hear about it, hearing about those playlists. Okay, what I want to talk to you about is oil changes, when to change the oil, uh, what oil to use, and let's not get ripped off. So half price oil, if you like, depends how you look at it. Now, for many years, oil's been, look, I, you know, it's probably it's a matter of perspective, but I thought it was pretty good value for money. I was just happy to buy it in these 10 litre containers. It retailed for about 90 bucks. It was quite often on switch for about 50. Five bucks a litre is enough of a rip off because I know back in the 90s, uh, the workshop was paying a dollar a litre. So, you know, that's how cheap oil could be and how much it's really gone up. But, you know, retail obviously closer to 10 bucks a litre, but five, but it's gone up a lot more now. Obviously trade, we can't get those same sort of discounts we're paying close, you know, to buy it this way. Even if you buy, you know, you can buy bulk 205 drums, but they're not 300 anymore. They're not 500. They're not 700. They're not 900. They're not 1100, 1200. They're not 1500. They're closer to two grand for 205 litres. So what's the difference really? More inconvenience, loading, unloading, getting rid of oil. It's just not worth it. What's worth it is you grab the stuff on special. And what's worth it is just listening, listen to the videos, listen to my voice, listen to what I'm telling you. I'm going to save you some money. Let's stop wasting oil. So basically... Over the last two or three years, they've doubled the oil price. So what we're going to do, we're going to halve the oil use. Well, not for everybody, because the people that don't listen, they don't service their vehicles because they just don't get it that preventative maintenance and oil changes, oil is the lifeblood of the engine. Okay, so for them, they're not going to save anything. It's still going to cost them cars because that's what it costs them. They run them into the ground and they've just got to go and buy a new one. Right, they weren't taught about it that at school either. Something else they weren't taught about. They don't teach you about these things. Doesn't really, you know, they don't need to do that, right? I don't know what do they teach you about enough just to keep you, treat you like a mushroom, right? Feed you and keep you in the dark and feed you, you know what? Anyway, so what I would like to say is, <laughs> you we're having a bit of a laugh anyway, but um, what I'm trying to say is, for a long time now, I've been saying five thousand k oil changes, and I do stand by that to a certain extent. Like, you know, I suppose we're being a bit fussy doing it every 5,000 with petrol engines. Not really. Look, I'll give you a bit of a background story. So I had a, uh, back, uh, I had a 19, uh, what year was it? Not 1998 WRX, Subaru WRX. I did, I used Mobile One. You know, Peter Brock said, mate, I've seen engines with a million miles and virtually no engine wear. Well, I can tell you what I've seen with Mobile One every 5,000 kilometres. Now, the service schedule, if I remember correctly, on that vehicle might have been 12,500 Ks, but I did oil changes every 5,000. Um, did pretty high kilometres as well. I managed to clock about 400,000 Ks in that vehicle over about four years. So there you go. Yep, we get around. And um, what I'd like to say is that 190,000 kilometres at the oil change is I saw metal in the oil and after a bit of a tapping noise and the tapping got worse and all that sort of thing, um, that's why I looked at it. And of course, those big air bearings were worn through. And it's not a bad engine. It's just a lot of power, a lot of punch at those pistons on those four small big ends. And like I said, every engine's got its weak point. So the point is, it doesn't matter how often you change, your, how clean you keep it. There's no such thing as a million miles and virtually no engine wear. It's just not going to happen. You're dreaming. You're living in a dream world. Oil's not that good. So the first lesson here is don't buy the most expensive oil, right? Have a look at the specification the vehicle requires. Have a look at the different brands. See what's on special. Make sure you get the one that suits the job, you know, by looking at these letters down here. See these letters, API, CI, 4, SL, that it's got all your different whatever. So you should be able to work out from that. You know, also maybe use where 1030. So the, the viscosity, you know, that you've got to look at the climate graph in the book. And I can tell you, that's why I've got these two different oils in front of me. We'll get to that in a minute. But what I'm saying is for a long time, I've been saying, let's do it every 5,000 Ks because it's cheap. How cheap was cheap? Well, like I said, we were getting these for about 50 bucks on special, you know, just like you. And we said, hey, bring your own oil. We don't care. Because if I if we use my oil, it's not on special. And I'm here to make money, right? I'll tell you straight. You want, you want to get cheap oil? Bring your own oil, no problem. I want you to bring your own oil. I want you to buy the oil. At the Prada Hospital, I'm not supplying oil. Let's make it clear. So if you want a service, you can do it yourself. Well, you can bring your own oil and we'll just do it for you. It's so easy. But, you know, we'll do all the other stuff for you as well. But, you know, or you can just do the oil and we'll do the other stuff. Anyway, the point is, the main point is, using seven litres of that $50 worth of oil worked out to be, what, about 35 bucks an oil change. That's like... Pfft. Mate, $35, who cares? Now, when you go buy one of these for close to 100 bucks, it kind of hurts a bit. And if you do high kilometres, you're wasting oil. And I demonstrated that not long ago because what happened was, 
in the 120. I did a service at, on Boxing Day, I did a service, believe it or not. There you go, 26th of December, Boxing Day. We did an oil change. And then it was only a, not long ago, a week or two ago. Um, so it would have, wouldn't have even been halfway through February. So let's say six weeks, seven weeks. We're doing a few Ks in the Victorian high country. It was another 5,000 Ks. Yep, it's due again, change the oil and change the oil. And like I always see, for 10 years of changing oil on this vehicle, it comes out clean. You know why it comes out clean? You know that little modification? <coughs> seven, <coughs> seven keeps it clean. Anyway, on the 1KD FTVs, if you know what I'm talking about. So if you've got the seven, let's just stop wasting oil. They've doubled the price, so let's half the oil usage, right? So we're going back to 10,000K oil changes. Now, there's a few subject to change on this, right? So 10,000K oil changes, if I've done it in two, three, four months, right? So the rule is going to be, and it always has been, right? 10,000 kilometers or six months, whichever comes first. So let's go back to that. If you've got the plate, the seven mil hole, it's reducing the EGR flow, the EGR being the exhaust soot, being in the combustion, blowing past the rings into the oils, what's contaminating your oil. Once you've reduced, if you've got your EGR shut off, if you've got a plate with a seven mil hole, your oil's gonna stay heaps cleaner, really clean, and just leave the bloody stuff in there for 10,000 Ks unless it gets old. Now, it doesn't really matter too much, even in a diesel. I'd probably push it out to six months, right? So yeah, I've had some time to think about it before. It's chalk and cheese, isn't it? Yeah, I've done a complete backflip, isn't that what they call it, right? Well, it's not really a complete backflip. I'll say it again. If it was 35 bucks, I'd still do it anyway, because it's cheap, but I feel like it's costing me close to 100. Um, so, you know, let's combat that record inflation by using half the oil and see, you know, maybe that's what they want. So let's do that. Let's do them that favor. Keep an eye on the specials. You don't have to use this stuff, okay? Um, I'm not saying this is superior to any other oil. You can probably get some Neulon that's just as good or better. You can probably get some Castrol that's just as good or better. You can probably get some Toyota Genuine Oil that won't be on special, but it might be just as good or better or more about the same. And it doesn't matter if it's better or not because it will certainly do the job. 1KDs are tough. They don't wear through big end bearings like the Subaru WRX did, right? Eventually, if you don't have all the right maintenance all the way through the life of the vehicle and you use the four cylinder like a V8, towing big caravans around, leaving injectors in there a long time, but just get a little chip and only plug it in when I'm towing, or get a remap or a tune, you'll probably crack a piston. But for nothing else, let's go on these engines. If you understand the injector thing about the blocked oil pickup, if the maintenance hasn't been done on the injectors, it all comes down to maintenance, understanding it's a four cylinder, that sort of thing. Okay. Now, a little bit different for petrol engines, okay? There's a lot of fuel contaminating the oil and that um, affects the seals, makes them go hard, causes oil leaks. Um, it does affect other things as well. Let's not waste our time going into it, but on a petrol engine, I would certainly also stick to 5,000 K oil changes, probably even more so than a diesel. In the diesel, it's the soot loading. It's that soot, it's that carbon, it's all the black stuff, you know? These days from the cleaner diesels, and when I say clean, a lot cleaner than the old <clears throat> mechanical injection was a lot dirtier, right? A lot more of that was in the combustion from the injectors blowing past the rings. Now the engines run cleaner with a common rail, but it's because of the exhaust gas recirculation, putting it back into the combustion, ruining your oil. But not as much of a problem as what happens to the petrol oil. But same rule, if you do high Ks, so basically what I'm saying, if you do high Ks, if you're doing a thousand Ks a week and you're gonna do 10,000 Ks in two and a half months, even three months, maybe four months, just stick to 10,000K oil changes, please. Save your money. That's what this video is all about. Half price oil, half price oil changes, half price maintenance, whatever I'm going to call it. Too late now because I've already called it. And um, this is what I'm getting at. Now, for all the 1KDs, use this, okay? For the 1KDs that have done two or 300,000 Ks plus and live in hot climates and they're always doing highway driving, you can use this if you want, but you can use this as well. Doesn't matter if you use that or that, or that or that, or that, that, and that, that, whatever. Doesn't matter if you use half that and half that because the 1KD is tough. I don't care if you use the Magnatech. I don't care if you use petrol Magnatech. To be quite honest, are you getting the picture? The engine just wants to be lubricated. It wants the right amount of oil. Obviously having a decent oil with the right viscosities and things like that, it helps. But you know, you put the oil in and what you might be driving in, uh, in in Melbourne, you know, beautiful one day, snowing the next. You know how it works? So we could be in zero one day and 35 degrees the next and 35 one, you know what I mean? So what I meant to do, change your oil every day. So don't worry too much about that. Know that an oil like this will suit 
temperatures under zero it'll suit temperatures you know around up to 40 plus something like that again you can check that climate thing in the book and just have a look and you just predict just because it, the temperature is 45 degrees doesn't mean this oil is no good but it's going to thin out a lot more it's not going to give us good oil pressure and protection at highway temperatures traveling at 135 kilometers hour in the northern territory towing your three-ton caravan do you get my picture there's so many variables right but the picture is if the oil's coming out too clean stop wasting it personally me on, on all our 1kds I'm going back to 10,000 K oil changes. This is what customers do anyway. The ones that come to us, they don't do 5,000 in between. Stop doing 5,000 oil changes unless you're doing low kilometers. If you're taking six months to do 5,000 Ks, 100% do the 5,000 K oil change, right? When you drain the oil, have a look at it. I mean, looking in the drain tray, it's gonna be black. Dipstick, it's gonna be black. Anyway, yak, 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 you get the picture. Thanks for watching, bada bing. Thanks for listening, bada boom. Get that oil, get some other oil, get whatever you want, but change it every 10,000, see ya.